Hey Leo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Leo. So for a Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Leo, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Roles can get reversed. So take how it resonates. You're dealing with someone who has a lot of pride and ego. The four of pentacles kind of energy. There's also stubbornness here. Yeah, stubbornness. You might have felt like this person was never open to you, never genuine when it comes to their feelings. You know, they were some uh, someone uh, behind closed doors and they were someone in front of other people. More than putting up a mask on this feels like this person was someone behind closed doors and someone in front of other people. So they pretended to be someone they're not. They This could be the kind of person who is a people pleaser. Yeah, right now you could be in no contact or this person is not taking any action or has not taken any taken any action yet just out of their ego or stubbornness. It's also very possible this person might have thought that you are the one who's going to take some action. You are the one who's going to do something about this connection. But because you haven't, this person feels more like their ego is being flared up more. This also could be the kind of person who loves a lot of attention, you know, someone who's good looking, someone who likes when the opposite sex gives them a lot of attention. So this person is, yeah, they're, they're being triggered. The fact that if you're not right now trying to contact this person, if you have totally disconnected from this person, walked away, blocked them, this person is very triggered, very, like, it's, it's almost like they're fuming with anger. They're feeling very overwhelmed that you are not giving to this connection, that you are not doing what you are supposed to do. So this person already assumed that you were supposed to behave or do certain things, but you are not doing that. And that is really triggering this person. This person could have tried to distract themselves by, uh, you know, drinking, going out with friends, having fun, partying, clubbing, you know, like doing just random things, you know, how people just sometimes get drunk to, you know, distract themselves from the reality or get high to distract themselves from reality. So yes, all, this person has been doing all of those things, but it's not really working for this person. Because at the bottom of this deck, we have the Ten of Swords. So nothing is working for this person. You, on the other hand, could be going through some, um, you know, you're transcending. You are go going to enter a new phase in your life. You're learning from your past mistakes. You are evolving. So you both seem on a very different um, energy because on this also in this deck, we have the bottom of the deck, three of pentacles. That is someone who's working, putting in the effort, working hard, focused on their money, focused on their career. You know, someone who is um, also getting a lot of attention in their workplace, that sort of an energy. But whereas the other person is in this 10 of swords energy, which is a very down in the doldrums, painful energy. So yeah, two people in very different energies. This person could have tried running from the for the longest time, but because it's not working, it's not happening, now they're feeling the pain. This person might have thought that you are the one who is going to, yeah. Oh, they are desiring you a lot. They are desiring you a lot. I can't show this image. 
yeah this person thought that they are going to be fine they are going to be okay they are going to focus on themselves and do whatever they feel like party go out with friends have fun but now they feel trapped now they feel yeah this is this feels the energy of someone stalking you this person could be stalking you right now they, they could have been they could have created fake profiles and watching you online this person feels very this is that eight of swords energy they feel very trapped by the thoughts of you what what are you doing what are you up to who are you hanging out with this person is obsessively wants to know everything about you So it's also very possible when this person is hanging out with their friends or outside, when this person goes out uh, about, they pretend that they are very happy, they are good, things are okay. But in, inside this person is feeling very trapped. Inside they feeling obsessive thoughts about you. This person definitely is has two faces. All right. The Devil and the Tower. Capricorn or Scorpio. Eight of Swords, feeling stuck, feeling trapped. Could be dealing with the Taurus. Eight of Pentacles, yeah. This is the energy. Yeah, you're evolving and waking up. Queen of Wands is also here. This is totally your energy. Uh, again, this is uh, just an energy, male, female, both ways. Yeah, that is that stubbornness, their ego pride was holding back. But this person is realizing that it's not working. This could have been this person's uh, entire plan that they are going to keep holding back from giving to you. They are going to keep holding back from communicating to you. And you're going to come around. You know, eventually you're going to give in. You are, Eventually you're going to come around. But you're not. And that is what, when this person is realizing all this stubbornness, it's not working. Yeah. Death in reverse. Okay. So 
something did turn right okay moon so we have the moon and the sun that is the yin and the yang energy Your energy is pretty someone who has made a decision. That's how it seems like your energy. Yeah, this three of cups can totally be that energy of someone partying. Someone hanging out with friends because they want to forget things. Because they are distracting themselves. Bottom of the deck, we have Nine of Wands, the Defensive Energy, and the Empress. It almost feels like this person here is looking at the Empress. This person certainly had that plan of... Uh... Yeah, this was this person's plan. They are going to be defensive. They are going to block you. They could have just outright blocked you. Uh, they, they are going to be defensive. They are going to block you. And that way you are going to come towards them. But you just with that six of wands and the empress, you were like, no, I'm not giving attention to you. You want to play your stupid games? Go play somewhere else. Go play with th those games with someone else. I'm not doing that because you're the em empress. Why would you do that? So their plan is clearly back, uh, sorry, failing. And now because their plan is failing, they're in the stern of swords energy. Pain, hurt, feeling like they really mess things up. I mean, we do have the nine of swords, right? And it, it, the nine of swords is just below that two of swords. So they are realizing, this person is realizing three, three, three. All the defensiveness for what? All those planning for what? Nothing worked out. Their plan backfired. Because this person was just pretending that this was over. They were pretending that they are fine. Yeah, you... You guys not talking to each other not speaking this person not taking any action they thought it wouldn't things will still be the same things will not change between the both of you no matter what they do this person could have been a uh, could be a bit of a drama queen like male female again drama queen loves attention loves the drama You might have given this person too much of your attention. Too much of your time and everything. Time, attention, too much of your love. You shard them with too much. And then it became a sense of entitlement for them. They just ended... I'm getting a very cocky energy of someone thinking very highly of themselves because you were giving them that energy, because you were making them feel good. But 
Now this person is like, OF, my plan completely messed up. We have two, two of pentacles in reverse. This person is literally like out of balance, out of focus. Nothing seems okay for them. Uh, they are pretending to be fine, good, but it's not. They are not good. Now, your energy is pretty, it's pretty sorted. Your energy feels good, relaxed, sorted. You have this energy of, well, I'm going to give to myself. I have my work. I have my stability. I have long-term goals I need to focus on. I need to also focus on myself because Nine of Pentacles is that energy of someone who's really taking care of themselves, mind, body, soul. And that's what you're doing. You are busy taking care of yourself. This person with that moon here, they could have triggered a lot of your insecurities. They made you feel not good enough. They, some way or the other, as I said, you could have given a lot of your attention, time, energy to this person and that, that made this person feel like they are somehow better than you. You know? Like they somehow, uh, like you ended up putting this person up on a pedestal knowingly or unknowingly. It's very possible you that was not your intention, but that's how you made this person feel. And that gave them this cocky kind of confidence. So they created this illusion and you felt like lost. You felt like you couldn't see things clearly. This person also could have, you know, had, a, I mean, manipulated you. Also with that moon, that moon is totally that energy of someone wearing a mask pretending to be something they are not yeah you were really feeding this person's ego you were really doing that feeding this person's ego again i don't think you were doing knowingly but unknowingly you did that so whatever attention you gave to them right now you you have taken back all that attention and you're giving to yourself I heard uh, reading books, self-help. You could be reading a lot of books, uh, self-help books. You could be thinking of reading books. You could be just focused on a particular skill here that you are trying to master. The judgment here, I did mention like you could be ascending, you could be going through an ascension, you could be changing, evolving, uh, entering a new chapter in your life. So your focus is completely on yourself here. It's also very possible this person thought that you are going to be miserable and awful and going to feel awful because this person is not giving you their attention because they uh, they are not talking to you. They are not taking any action. You are going to fall apart. But you clearly aren't falling apart. You are in fact doing good from the energy I'm picking up. So now this person, and as I said, this person is talking to you. So now because they see that you are not falling apart, you are doing fine. You are focusing on yourself. Uh, you are, I mean, you could be posting good pictures of yourself, you know, everything. Like you, you are, this is your energy, the sun, right? This is that playful uh, energy. The sun is a very playful energy because we literally have a kid sitting on the horse there. So yeah, you're in a playful, beautiful goddess-like energy. And this person, they they really feel like they've made the dumbest decisions and choices here because they were literally dealing with that empress. And you have to be really dumb to take the empress for granted. I don't feel like I need any clarifiers because you two, you, from the very beginning of the reading, I picked up two people on very different energies on very different pages, very different vibration. Because your vibration, you are raising your vibration for sure. We have the nine of cups, the nine of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, judgment, chariot. You are very divinely guided right now. You're listening to your intuition. You are making better choices in life. You could be getting a lot of inspiration and ideas as well. Yeah, you are all about celebrating and focusing on yourself and self-love. Yeah, Ace of Cups, self-love, Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups, self-love, healthy selfishness, Four of Wands, celebrations, having fun, good times, all of those things.
page of pentacles starting new ventures even you could have be, uh, you could be getting a lot of new ideas that you want to pursue you want to follow you know or you you could be starting something new because you are still the novice and this novice is working hard on something they want to manifest so yeah uh, you have had a lot of epiphanies when it comes to this connection when it comes to this person you might have also realized all the mistakes you made with this person like how you chose to give this person more than you were giving to yourself and how that was not a good idea so yeah you are you are good the all the cards in your uh, side here is very positive except the moon but that moon is surrounded by i mean just after the moon we had the sun so honestly the moon doesn't even feel that bad we have the nine of cups the eight of pentacles and the sun surrounding that moon energy so yeah you're good you're fine also let's not forget on the chariot we have the emperor sitting so this is you making bold moves you already have the empress here you could be also balancing that masculine and feminine energy in, uh, inside of you because in the chariot we do have the dark and the light sphinx I think they're all the Sphinx, right? Yeah, we also have angel wings and the star and the moon. So yeah, you are you are pretty guided right now. I don't even think you need this reading. You need to watch this reading. Whereas someone else is pretty trapped. Yeah, I think this is the emperor. Yes. As I was just talking about on the chariot, we have the emperor. So we have the emperor and the empress. Yeah, you are balancing energies within yourself. As I said, you could be having a lot of ideas. You could be go going, getting major downloads. And you are, whatever ideas you have, you are implementing those ideas into actions. You are ha getting those ideas and you are taking action towards those. Which is the feminine and the masculine energy balancing out. The masculine energy goes after what they want. The feminine energy is the more intuitive side of us of us so yeah and this is the four of wands is literally the 11 11 card so that is all about manifestation and let's not forget the emperor is the master manifester also we have archangel gabriel they're blowing the horn so yeah you are guided you're protected you're good also i'm getting is uh you are going to reap good karma so whatever good investments, good karma you have done, you're going to reap the benefits of those. Yeah, but this person is like... All of these cards, they say the same thing. They thought they, go, they are going to be fine with the cycle ending. But now they are like, wait... Is Leo just letting me go? Is this really over? Is this done and dusted? Because they don't want this to be over with the death in reverse. They don't want this to be over. So now they miss you. Now they can't stop thinking about you. Now they're dreaming about you as well. Four of swords, six of cups. They can't stop thinking about you. And they feel miserable. Five of pentacles, abandoned, lonely. Because the queen of pentacles, you were the queen of pentacles kind of energy. You were giving them a lot of attention, nurture, care, everything. And you made them feel this person, you made this person feel really, really good. And now that they don't have access to your energy, they feel miserable, the five of pentacles. They feel overburdened. They also feel insecure. This is what is truly going on with this person inside. But outside, this person is pretending, oh, I'm very good. I'm happy. I'm partying. I'm having fun. Who said I'm bad? Who said I'm, I'm, I'm miserable? This person is also thinking like this could have been such a good investment, such a good long-term investment. This connection with you could have been such a good long-term investment, but they managed to F it up good. So yeah. All right. You could be dealing with uh, Pisces, Cancer, 
fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, uh, Aries, Libra. Let me pick up those cards. Energetically blocking this person as well. If not outright blocking them. Ace of Wands. Yeah, new beginning. Feeling that fire, feeling that passion. Ooh, six of swords you are you are moving away from confusion and we have two aces you are getting you have very positive cards on your side ten of cups and it came out in reverse I need to clarify that. Okay, it is possible. Right. Yeah. Person's actions. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Magician, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, King and the Queen of Cups. Oh, this silence has made this person realize that they... Um, they need to set their priorities right they need to fix this fix things here because the five of pentacles they feel miserable look at that four of pentacles in reverse seven of pentacles five of pentacles this person's stability has gone for a toss they feel very unstable right now i'm also getting that this person could be going through some sort of financial issues as well and if this person is going through those financial issues, they, they are seeing you as this nine of pentacles, right? So you are doing well, whereas they are miserable. With this, the high priestess there, it's that energy of, uh, yeah, we did have, right? That's, this is what I was looking for, union, right? This person wants to work on this connection. Ten of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Magician. They want to manifest a new beginning here. Because this silence with the high, the high priestess talks about silence, no contact. We did have no contact here. I mean, not speaking, right? So as good as no contact, right? So yes, because there's no contact with the high priestess is making this person realize that they miss you. They want you back. 
you are the and also the king and the queen of cups together this person you can't see that this person thinks that you you compliment them beautifully you compliment them the best there's no one like you there's no one you emotionally get them and there's no one like you and with the ten of pentacles this is someone who wants long-term stability here as i said with the seven of pentacles this person is thinking of this could have been such a good long-term investment but instead they really effed it up and now they're in this five of pentacles energy so who wants to no one wants to be in this five of pentacles energy so now this person wants this ten of pentacles six of cups they miss you they want you back magician they want to manifest it magician is master manifester this person could be really trying manifestation techniques as well to get you back They are also realizing that no one filled their cup of love like the way you did it. Now, when it comes to your energy, we have the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, which is all about new beginnings, new starts, emotional wish fulfillment, passion coming back, you feeling good again. Because we did get the Queen of Wands energy after the chariot, right? Because at the bottom of the deck, we did have the Queen of Wands. I mentioned that is your energy. And Ace of Wands is that confirmation again. That you are feeling that passion again you are feeling passionate again you are charged up geared up want, wanting to take action you're feeling good looking good so yeah you, you are good and with that ace of cups emotional wish fulfillment you are ready to take that leap of faith you are ready to walk away or move on or heal from things that isn't serving you and for some of you you're almost letting go of this your idea of ten of cups is changing because ten of cups is wish fulfillment also, for some of you, this Ten of Cups in reverse is you letting go of this person completely. You're walking away from this person because the Fool is, the Ten of Cups is in reverse and the Fool is walking away from this Ten of Cups here. So you are letting go of this idea of this happy future with this person. You might be just thinking, it's, it was not supposed to be. So you are very in this relaxed this fool seems a very good energy here and the fool is all the card says fool the fool is never a fool the fool is um he knows about divine timing he's very divinely guided also he's ready to take that leap of faith and the universe has his back and that's how you feel you are just stepping away from things that don't make you happy and you are taking that leap of faith towards things that make you happy and since this person didn't bring you any sort of happiness you are moving away from them as well you're all about yourself now and for some of you you're also not even that much interested in relationships this is what i'm getting here you might not be that interested in relationships you might be just uh, you know you want to enjoy explore feel good live life You might be thinking that you gave too much importance to this ten of cups with them you give too much importance of the future with them so you are in this more like light-hearted energy which is a good thing but yeah this person is manifesting you back they want this union they want this reconciliation they are coming back to make it work because well obviously because they don't want to feel in this five of pentacles energy You could be dealing with Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, if I, uh, Gemini, Virgo, if I hadn't already mentioned the signs. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, they want this new beginning. Ace of Pentacles is the cornerstone to that Ten of Pentacles. They want this. We have three Aces here. Now that's your reading Leo. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in my next reading. Until then, take care guys. Bye bye.